hey guys it's zoe and welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing amazing today i'm going to be showing you how i installed this gorgeous milk tea color inspired wig from ali pearl hair i'll be showing you how i installed it from start to finish so if you want to see my thoughts and how i installed this wig make sure you keep on watching see you in a sec So like I said in the intro, this wig is from Ali Pearl Hair and guys, they've upped their packaging. Like Ali Pearl Hair never used to come like this. I don't know what they've done or what design team they hired, but this is so cute. They uh, came with this super cute bow and then this gold box, which I'll definitely keep to store my wig in after. Um, this is all the stuff I got inside of the box. I got a wig band, a edge brush and some other bits and bobs i got this wig in a medium cap size 200 percent density and 24 inches this is what the wig looked like straight out of the box as you can see it's got this like skunk stripe type of thing going on i did quickly go ahead and just clip those two pieces aside just so i can tone them with some purple shampoo because i felt like they were a tiny bit too yellow once i did that i put it on my mannequin head and quickly plucked it off camera and straightened it and this is what the wig looked like after the purple shampoo made the slightest difference like it was kind of pointless that i did that but it looks super good regardless it was really easy to pluck and it literally took me about 10 minutes to get that done this is another closer look at the wig but moving on to the install this is the lace allowance by the way i've got a lot of parting space to work with so i can do a nice deep side part if i choose to um anyway i'm quickly grabbing my foundation shade which is the born this way foundation in the shade spice drum and i'm gonna go ahead and just tint the lace as i always do with a dense kabuki brush once i've done that i'm gonna go ahead and pop the wig on as you can see i've got on here making sure everything is fitting correctly and the sides are lining up with my natural hairline i'm obsessed with how the color looks i was trying so hard for you guys to be able to see the true tones and the colors that run through this wig but it's just really hard with the lighting in my room um but yeah it's got this like milky brownie strawberry blonde rose gold but i'll make sure that i put a picture of this wig um in natural daylight just towards the end of the video so you can see what it really really truly looks like um but yeah i've gone ahead and just clipped away the sides of the hair and just cut off the excess lace on either side of the wig i'm now growing my scissors again and i'm just cutting these little tabs into my lace as i always do just to make gluing down a lot easier for my wig glue i'm using the better the melt wig glue from hair by kelly's website and i'm gonna go ahead and apply two to three layers of this glue making sure that i wait for each layer to dry completely clear as i always say you want to be really careful when you're working with blonde hair because it's very very unforgiving especially when it comes to tinting the lace um so yeah do you mind that and be very gentle and really take your time when installing this um, once I've let the glue dry, I'm grabbing my rat tail comb and I'm just pressing down the lace um, where I've just glued that down and really making sure that it's adhered to my skin and that everything is melted as good as possible. I'm going to go ahead and repeat that on either side of the wig before grabbing my got to be blasting free spray and just spraying it on these little edge corner pieces that always lifts up. I don't like to do this all over the wig because I feel like it kind of leaves a white cast so I literally just put this hairspray on the sides of my head because um, they lift up the quickest. Once that is done I'm growing my Ali Pearl wig band and I'm just tightly securing that around my hair for around 10 minutes and while I do that I'm going to go ahead and style and trim the rest of the hair. I'm taking my scissors and just cutting off these dead ends a little bit because I kind of wanted it to be more of a blunt cut. Then I'm grabbing my hot comb which has been preheated and I'm just pressing down and making sure that everything is super super flat and it's laying. I then decided to add some big loose waves into the wig again just to bring out the color a lot more. So I'm grabbing my one and a half inch curler from Lula Bell's hair and I'm just curling each section um i'm doing around three per half of my head if that made any sense um 
but once I clip sorry once I cull the hair and my little crocodile clips and then I secure it with some hairspray you want to make sure that you let every single curl completely cool down before you start taking them out but yeah i just did this all over the head if you guys have watched my channel you already know my curling routine but yeah here's just a little refresher Once I've got all the curls done, I am taking off the wig band and then grabbing my eyebrow razor and then just slowly starting to cut out the lace. Um, as always, I like to use my eyebrow razor because it creates the most natural looking hairline. So I'm just quickly doing this all around my head. I haven't been wearing this wig for super, super long, so I can't give you guys like a full complete judgment of how it wears. But I will say that I haven't experienced a lot of shedding at all. The hair had a normal smell. I would say the colour is very accurate to how it looks on the website as well. And it's super, super soft. Like I said, my camera just isn't doing this colour justice. But trust me when I tell you, like, it's just... It's so unbelievable. I haven't seen anyone with a wig this colour before. So yeah, um, that's just a quick rundown of my thoughts on this wig. I would say the only downside is the lace could maybe be a bit thinner but um apart from that i don't have any complaints with this hair um once all the lace is cut i've just quickly gone ahead and just cleaned up the edges of the wig with the leftover foundation on my brush and then i'm gonna go ahead and take out these curls this is literally my favorite part it's so satisfying and honestly, I wish I could just walk out like this, but as always, we're gonna fluff these curls out. I'm literally running my fingers through this as much as possible. I literally tip my head upside down off camera as well, just so I can really get the volume and the bounce in this wig. Um, I'm just doing some little finishing touches by grabbing my hot comb, grabbing a comb as well, and really working that through and making sure that everything is laying as perfectly as possible because some of the curls did end up dropping a little bit. So I just quickly went over everything and just cleaned everything up. Um, but yeah guys this is essentially the finished look i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you love this hair as much as i do let me know what you think in the comments i've got the links to everything down below in my description box but yeah make sure you guys like comment subscribe and i will see you guys next time